I am not feeling good. Not feeling good. Just trying to breathe right now. Um, just trying to breathe. So, couple of things. Couple of things I want to bring up as I let people climb on. One, I'm sick. Hopefully that's obvious. Um, um, I am sick. I'm not feeling my best. But I wanted to come on and tell you guys that I will be going live with my mother this evening answering some manifestation questions. Um, in the meantime of that period, some people were requesting me to do an additional EFT tapping video for you guys, like just for the community, and repurpose it onto my YouTube page in my YouTube community. So if you guys would like, I can definitely initiate that here and now with my TikTok family. And then for those of you who are perhaps not in the correct time, energy, and space to do it live with me, can rewatch it at their own time and convenience over on my YouTube page. Are you guys interested in learning and understanding a little bit more about EFT tapping? Because I feel like, pardon me, I have talked about it in the past on how it's like literally changed my whole life in like four months. Um, and I am currently running a course on it. Now you're not obligated to get that course. That course is strictly for individuals who like want change in that area of their life. Yes. Okay. So great. Well, you're going to do the EFT tapping now. One thing I want to preface this because this will get repurposed onto my YouTube page is so many people were actually not as educated as I thought they were on EFT tapping. Um, perhaps I just assumed some people knew about it to the same level that I do. And I appreciate you guys kind of letting me know in the comments that that wasn't the case. Sometimes like what makes sense in my brain, I think makes sense in yours. Um, so I appreciate you guys asking me some questions. I want to give a little bit of background on EFT tapping. It is called the emotional freedom technique. In that process, what we are doing is, and this is from what I have understood about it, it is essentially something that we have used as part of the naturopathic medicine community as being a way to release resistance, trauma, and past stored emotional memories in the body. Now, why is this important? In a single instance, let's just say your crush, your SP breaks up with you. Let's say you're together and they break up with you. Now, I'm going to symbolize this rock as being the feelings of, <coughs> pardon me, rejection, not feeling good enough, feeling bad, feeling awful, feeling horrible, feeling terrible. What happens in a single moment is our body takes all these emotional memories. Because remember, the subconscious mind is a sponge to emotional memories. That's why when we have very high emotional memories or very low emotional memories, we can impress our subconscious mind just like that with memories, emotional experiences, not memories, emotional experiences alone and never say a singular affirmation. Why is that? When your crush breaks up with you, as an example, you go through a very emotional experience. And what happens is depending on how you internalize it, you will, your, your, well, your subconscious mind will, not necessarily, um, you will, but your subconscious mind will internalize all the feelings of hurt, all the feelings of heartache, all the feelings of isolation, loneliness, inadequacy, not feeling good enough, and take it and store it in the body. This is why many of you go through the same negative cyclic patterns again and again and again and again, and you meet the same person in a different body to teach you the same lesson until you finally learn better and break the lesson. That's what that means. That's actually called a subconscious emotional memory because what it's kind of like the one bad apple spoils it for the rest, right? When somebody treats us like this and we take it and internalize it and associate a negative story with it, it has the power provided if we are aware of this information or not aware of this information to impact us for the rest of our lives even, right? Until we actually break the pattern. 
So what we do in the EFT tapping course, and I've already done one EFT tapping on my YouTube, and this will be the second one that'll go up on there, is what we're doing is we're taking the emotional memory that we're not realizing we're carrying around, and we are tapping it out of our body. Now, what happens in the exact science of EFT tapping is this. We have certain acupressure points on our body certain acupressure points that when repeatedly tapped or rubbed on has the ability to jolt certain meridian points according to Chinese medicine that allows resistance to be re released from the body. Now that resistance can come out in a variety of different ways. It can come out in the form of yawning, burping, crying, shaking, trembling. It can come out in so many different ways or you could have maybe even no reaction to it at all. What we're shooting for is depending on the level of reaction you have in the beginning to repeatedly do it every off. I mean, as much as you can, I like to try to do things once a day, even for myself. My schedule doesn't always permit it, but that's what I like to do. Let's say I do a specific EFT tapping around worthiness. In the very beginning, I may yawn through the entire thing. I may cry through the entire thing. And as I continue to do this, some people get scared. They're like, oh my gosh, what's happening? What's happening is essentially imagine this uh, little rock as almost being like a five pound weight. Now imagine another person coming and doing the exact same thing. That's like another five pound weight. Imagine another person coming and doing the exact same thing. That's like another five pound weight. Imagine another person coming and doing the exact same thing. That's like another five pound weight. Now I'm carrying five, 10, 15, 20 different pounds on me of how somebody else hurt me. So imagine it almost like a backpack or almost like a weighted vest you eventually become acclimated through time to just carry this around so let's just say for an example you weigh 140 pounds you're used to just walking around with 160 pounds and it's not until you're actually forced to sit down and liberate some of that energy that you actually start to feel like oh my god I feel lighter I feel better Oh my God, I was carrying that around with me the whole time. And essentially what EFT tapping does is it takes that five pounds off. You keep doing it, it takes another five pounds off. So it can be very emotionally vulnerable um, to do it because naturally we're bringing up memories from the past and liberating ourselves from it. However, it's so very therapeutic and beneficial. And I tell people all the time, if you have not been getting your manifestation in the 60 to 90 days that I quote, you may need some EFT tapping work because a lot of times we don't realize how much our subconscious wiring is dictating our entire reality. Now, can you manifest something without doing deeper subconscious work? Absolutely. Is it going to be harder? Also, yes. It is going to be a bit harder because rewiring your subconscious mind, well, we manifest our whole lives with our subconscious mind. So it makes a lot of sense that you would want to get that on board um, to be able to make this process easier. Now, some symptoms, I guess you can say, <laughs> no pun intended, um, that would be indicative that perhaps you need subconscious work could be the fact that maybe you're evading sitting down and actually doing a manifestation routine even though you really want the object of desire but you're not having the motivation to doing it um, another symptom of doing it is you're constantly self-sabotaging um, another symptom of doing it is you do it for one day but then you don't do it for the other days and you don't hold yourself accountable. Now, why are these symptoms of needing EFT tapping or subconscious work is because in many instances, it's not in the human mind's best interest to self-detonate or self-sabotage something that we actually innately want. Because even by biology, even by evolution, um, we're very motivated and driven individuals um, for survival as well as for benefit. Um, so it's actually not in our innate nature to not do things that we actually want in our lives. Um, so that's just another symptom. Um, another symptom of it could be um, reacting to the 3D in a very violent or bad way, regardless of whether you do or don't have 3D evidence. Um, another uh, you know, symptom I can say, and I'm just trying to think of these off the top of my head to try to help you guys identify whether you fall into this category or not. Um, could also be something along the lines of manifesting the person or manifesting the, you know, person, place or thing really, um, but then losing him 
or her and then having to start all over again. There are so many different things, so many different things. A lot of it surrounds around worthiness. A lot of it surrounds around self-sabotaging. A lot of it surrounds around not having the mental discipline. Um, things of this nature are the things that are capable of coming up to me off the top of my head. Now, the reason why this sometimes leads you into doing EFT tapping work is because, like I mentioned, it's not in our human innate nature to not put in work for something we want. At the end of the day, anything worth having is worth putting in some work to get. Now, this is not me saying you can't live a passive or soft life if that's what you st- should so choose, but that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is you saying as an example, Persis, I want to be wealthy, but every time I give you a manifestation routine, affirmations and things to do, you want to do everything else except that. That's actually unhealthy. That's actually not leading you to your desire. And that's actually a subconscious blockage that's trying to trying to prevent you from actually reaching your full potential. Why is that? Because it's traumatized from things in the past that it has held on to. Simple as that. Is this clear for you guys so far? And like I said, this will be repurposed right onto my YouTube page, right up on there. So what we're going to do today, um, and let me know in the comments if this makes sense or you have any quick follow-up questions before I start the EFT tapping. Um, but for those of you guys who are interested, oopsies, as some people do seem to be confused, um, which is totally fine. I don't mind explaining the same thing again and again. I just, sometimes I'm, I'm a little confused, um, cause I feel like I put an encyclopedia on the website of so much information. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Like I said, I don't mind repeating myself. If anybody does want that EFT tapping course, essentially what we're doing in that course is releasing and liberating the trauma around the six common subconscious blockages that prevent people from having their desires. Some of those things may be shame, guilt, money blockages, um, worthiness issues, not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy, not feeling chosen. Um, if that interests you, you know where to get it on the website. If it doesn't interest you, please let it go and let somebody else join it that actually wants to benefit from it. So I don't see any more questions, so I'm going to just start the tapping session. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove my glasses right now real quick. And um, like I said, I'm not feeling super good, but I just want to show up for you guys. And like I said, we'll be doing another live this evening. Um, probably around 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for those of you guys who want a notification. And for anybody in the comments who's mentioning they're not getting notifications, you just need to go to my name and put maybe all notifications on and you should be notified every time I go live because I know it is very random. So to start out with EFT tapping, we're going to be tapping on certain points and you're just going to repeat after me either mentally or out loud. Do what I do. Say what I say. Our first point of tapping is the karate chop right here. After a certain point in time, we will move to the forehead. After a certain point in time, we will move to the temples. After a certain point in time, we will move to under the eyes. After a certain point in time, we will move to just above like right here, like the upper lip. Then after a certain point in time, we'll move to the chin. After a certain point in time, we'll move to the chest. And after a certain point in time, we'll move to kind of like the bra strap area. And then just the top of the head and repeat that same sequence. So if you guys are ready, I am ready. What does tapping do? I literally just kind of gave like a 10 minute explanation and this will be repurposed onto my same YouTube page, Manifest with Persis. So I'm um, just trying to keep this live super concise. So if you want to go over there in about like an hour, you'll definitely see that video over there, but I'm just going to get started. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What would you guys like? What would you guys like as a central focus for this tapping session? Let me poll my people. Let me poll my people. Would we like to do things around my manifestation being available for me or not being available for me? Worthiness, okay. Do, 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 do money ironically enough i do have a money tapping that i just did in that persistence of resistance tapping course 
And a lot of people are manifesting money. Um, I'm just trying to look. I'm just trying to look. Oh, gosh. You guys are going fast. Money. Chosen. Um, consistency to our affirmations. So self-sabotage, maybe. Um, that would be a good one. Um, do, 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 do. Anxious. Chosen. Anxiety. Hmm. I know I'm just something that'll work for everyone. I'm trying to pick which one that is. <laughs> I'm trying to pick it. Um, I love your persistence course. It's amazing. Thank you. Yes, the persistence course is really, really good for those of you guys who want to go into this at a higher level. Thank you, Nathan. I did have a very good birthday. All right. Why don't I just do a freestyle one and let me just channel and see what comes through me. Let me just channel and see what comes through me and we'll, we'll go from there, guys. There's a lot of great options and I do know a lot of them are repetitive. Ironically enough, pretty much all of the ones you guys suggested are in my Persistence of Resistance course. So once again, I'm not trying to sell you anything that you don't want to have. However, this two month course for $200 is very, very cheap and affordable. Um, I think it comes down to like $25 per tapping session and you get it on so many different areas, money, chosen, worthiness, all that stuff. So once again, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just the messenger and I'm going to just shut up and start doing the tapping. This is going up on YouTube. Persis, thank you. You're a selfless person. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just start right here. Let's start on the karate chop, guys. Just breathe, drop into your body and just relax. I'm going to give you a couple of statements and what I want you to do first and foremost before we begin right here is on a scale of one to ten, rate yourself, close your eyes, center yourself into your body. I'm going to ask you, I feel worthy. I feel worthy of having my desire. On a scale of one to ten, where does that number sit? So take a look, sit in your body on a scale of one to 10. If you were to see a scale in front of you, where does that number sit and take a mental note of it. And of course, you're going to end up putting it into the comment sections on YouTube or you can put it in the comment section here. Second statement, I deserve to get what I want on a scale of one to 10. Where are we sitting with that? Good. Things always work out for me. That's that's the next statement on a scale of one to ten. You guys are saying ten, but then you're asking me for a topic on this. I, I love it, though. All right. So these are our three statements we're going to focus around. So let's just start tapping on the karate chop. Breathe, drop into your body. Even though I do not feel worthy of having my desire, I choose to love and accept myself. Once again, you can repeat out loud or in your head. Even though I don't always feel I deserve to get what I want, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though things do not always work out for me, I choose to love and accept myself. Sometimes things are hard for me. They are very, very difficult. How can I have faith that I can have my manifestation? A lot of the times I just run away from the work. Maybe I'm not always committed. Maybe I'm not always showing up and showing out. Am I just being too selfish for wanting things the way that I want them? I don't feel like I'm being selfish. But nothing in my 3D reality is moving at the pace I want. It's frustrating. 
how long am I going to persist with no movement? I need things and I need them now. In some instances, I want them even before I've actually changed these assumptions. I know that that might be unrealistic, but this is the way I want manifestation to work. What happens if I do all this work and I still don't get what I want? How embarrassing. How traumatizing. It would be awful to do all this work and have nothing to show for it. Well, actually, I wouldn't have nothing to show for it. I would have a good self-concept. I would have improved worthiness. I would have improved confidence. I would think highly of myself. Men or women all around me would admire me and see my magic for who I am as a person. People might even show up for me. But I can't risk all of that until I see some results. I need to see results before I change the assumptions. What happens if this is all fake? What happens if I can't actually get what I want? And even though I feel this way, I choose to see things differently. I know I am not the exemption to the law of assumption. I know my circumstances, no matter how big they may seem, do not exempt physics. I know that's just my subconscious mind trying to protect me. And that is so normal. That is so human of my subconscious mind. It is completely normal and natural that my brain is trying to protect me. And I know why it does that. But I need to tell my brain I don't need protection anymore. I need to tell my brain that things always work out for me, even if I don't see it. Because I know how to manifest things. Because I follow Persis. And in that process, I know that my thoughts, when thought repetitively, become assumptions. And I know in the law of assumption, my assumptions create my reality. I know how manifestation works. I know if I actually create new assumptions, the world around me has no choice but to give it to me. I know I'm just being a little bit scared. I know I'm just getting a little bit worried. I know I'm just getting a little bit of anxiety. Because it's really hard for me to believe that my circumstances can change just with my thoughts. And that is so normal. That is just me having a normal human concern. But I know through law of assumption, 
my subconscious mind dictates my reality. And if I persist in these assumptions, they have to become fact. Whatever or whoever needs to move is going to move to bring me my desire. That is the way the law works. And if there's one thing I can have faith in, it is that. I can do this. Everything in manifestation is a choice. I am choosing to get my desire. I am choosing to show up for myself. I am choosing to commit to myself. Because I've decided I really want this desire. And I've decided it is important for me to have. And I know anything worth having is worth putting in effort to get. Because what are my other options? Staying stuck in my current reality is not an option for me. Not in my world anyway. So I'm going to need to do what it takes to get me to where I want to be. I owe the respect towards my desires to show up for myself. And I will continue to do that until my desire takes its physical form. I am releasing worries now. I am releasing tension now. I am releasing shame and guilt now. My desires are available for me. Because I choose that they are. I know how to manifest things. I know things are just a choice. I can choose to be worthy. I can choose to be amazing. I can choose to be wealthy. I have the power to choose the stories that run in my head. And from today onwards, I'm choosing better ones. I'm choosing the stories that can actually lead me to my desire. And I am releasing and surrendering any story that does not lead me to my desire. I know those worries and fears are just a projection of old emotional memories. Those old emotional memories were stored in my subconscious and those old emotional memories are sometimes brought up in new manifestation routines to protect me from getting hurt. But once again, I am smart. I do follow Persis and I freaking know better. I choose that these are not going to be the shackles that hold me back. I choose that these desires are meant for me because I say so. And I choose that my manifestation can be easy and effortless. Because that's what I'm choosing for myself from here on out. In body, 
mind, and spirit. Drop your arm, let it hang down heavy. Breathe, breathe into the chest space, expand the rib cage, expand the lung capacity. And just close your eyes, center yourself. On a scale of one to 10, from the first time, rate yourself for I am worthy. What is your number? I am worthy. You can drop it down in the comment section. Once again, this will be repurposed onto YouTube. Same name, Manifest with Persis. I deserve to get what I want. Scale of one to 10. A lot of tens, guys. Awesome. 20. Love it. Oh, getting me all excited. All right, last one. Things are always working out for me. 10. So this is the power of EFT tapping. You guys see more than anything with your own results, 10s, 11s, 20s, 100s, that that energy that you were holding in your lower numbers that five pound backpack, that 10 pound backpack, that 30 pound backpack just came off. You are going to walk around feeling so much more lighter, so much more capable of doing your routine now. Anybody that's experiencing crying, if you guys could please go back onto my YouTube page, it's going to be up there in the next 30 minutes. If you're not already subscribed with the notification bell, I literally gave very detailed instructions as to yawning, crying, burping, um, shaking, trembling, or releasing of energy, tiredness, sleepiness. It's all a sign that your subconscious mind is liberating and releasing the trauma or the emotional memories stored in your body. And essentially what we do in EFT tapping is we tap on certain meridian points, certain acupressure points in the body to release this out. This could very well be the thing, depending on how violent of a reaction you guys had to it, um, that is holding back your manifestation. Because what you're not realizing is, for those of you who may be crying so hard, yawning all the way through, that may have been representative of, like, let's just say, a 20-pound backpack. You've now just taken that off. So you're going to feel so much lighter, so much more liberated. And from that place, you're going to do your manifestation routine. Sometimes we're so used to the emotional trauma from the past, we don't realize that we haven't taken it off until we actually sit and do a sequence like this. Like I mentioned before, and I'm not going to get too repetitive on it because it's going to be repurposed on YouTube. If you guys want to get into this at a bigger rate, I have Persistence of Resistance that's going to have another session coming up. Um, if you guys are interested in doing that two-month course for $200, it is quite a steal. Quite a steal. Um, you can go and grab it right on the website. You'll get a PDF download. Um, the PDF download is not the course. It's just the link to the private Facebook group where all these EFT tappings are going on. We have EFT tappings around money, worthiness, love, success, abundance in all areas of life. I love you guys so much. Once again, I will be back online at 7 p.m. approximately um, for another live, and I hope to see you guys soon. Please go grab the spooky Q&A coming up on Sunday. If you guys would like a discounted um, group consultation, bring me your questions. I will give you the answers.